jumping up to 87 to a 90. This could be a silver ring, a big men silver ring right here. Well, good evening, everybody. On the road again today, headed out to the lakes. No longer, I hung up the manticore and uh, it is in the closet and I've got my water gear in the back of my truck and I'm headed out to the lakes to start officially water season. I actually started yesterday and uh, I didn't find anything. I just wanted to kind of go test the waters and see if there was anything out there, anybody swimming. And there were some people swimming. It's still a little early, so I'm gonna hit another lake that's a real, real popular lake here in my area and uh, go out there today and see what we can find. And so hopefully I will find something, just one, maybe two good things. I'm not expecting a lot because there's just not a lot going on right now. It really doesn't really pick up to about Memorial Day weekend and thereafter it really gets busy. And so uh, hopefully we're gonna get something. So I got a little bit further to go. So you guys sit back and just enjoy the ride. I'll see you in the water. We're at the lake. Uh, let me uh, kind of show you for those that are wanting to get into water hunting, kind of the things that you need. Those of you that have uh, been water hunting for a long time, you can just kind of skip on to the first line. But uh, let me show you what you need to be successful at water hunting things that you need, the equipment that you need. Well, I think the first thing you're going to need, if you're fair skinned like me, is sunscreen. I wear a hundred and I still get sunburned. But uh, you're going to need a waterproof detector. I use my AT Pro. Now I've got my Equinox in here, I've got my Manicore, I could use those, but I don't like using those just simply because the sand really gets into them and the sand's really hard on them. So I like using this AT Pro. I know the sounds and tones and uh, it's a rugged detector, a little bit heavier, but uh, being in the water you can swing it. Um, I just and I just don't want to, the sand is really hard on here. And every time you take this out, you really got to clean the shaft because it'll seize up, the sand will seize it up. And that silted sand is really hard on the digitals. And these analogs do pretty good. Plus, you don't need a real sophisticated detector because everything you're digging is in the sand. It's just underneath the surface. You don't really need a high com com complex detector. Plus, I have the uh, Viper coil on here. And uh, I like the way this fits. It's long, 11 inches long and six inches wide, and it fits perfect with my scoop versus the round coil. And uh, so that's why I hunt with the, uh, the AT Pro. Another thing you're gonna need is a good pair of uh, waterproof headphones. You don't have to have waterproof headphones, but they make it, they make it uh, convenient. Uh, these are the Amphibian uh, Grey Ghost. They don't make these anymore this brand they make this headphone but they don't have the volume on it and uh, if you try to put the, the set of headphones that don't have a volume onto an AT Pro it'll blow your ears out now these have worked real good on other detectors that have volume controls on them but uh, you can wear any headset that you want to uh, as long as you just don't get them wet you'll be good to go but uh, I like to have that because it may rain one day and I just like to stay out in the water and I don't worry about it getting uh, waterlogged or whatever the other thing that you're going to need is a water pouch. Now, that's kind of what I have right there. You can do any type of pouch, but uh, that does pretty good. You can put your your uh, treasures in here, your trash right there. You even got a little hidden pocket there in the back. Um, another thing you'll need is, if I can get it out of here with that shovel, there we go. Is a scoop, and uh, that's the scoop that I use, and that's why I see the shape of it goes with that coil. I got my scoop cam on there. I put a handle on it. I got a noodle that steps up and makes it float straight up and down. And so you'll need a good scoop for sure. And uh, that's just about all that you need. Uh, make sure you get a pair of. Uh, Good water shoes. I'm just gonna. I've got some boots, but I'm just gonna wear these, these here. And, uh, and so, well, other than that, you're ready to go. If you're filming, get you some GoPro cameras, and uh, you'll be set and ready to roll. So we're set now. So let's get in the water. See how cold this lake's gonna be. The lake yesterday wasn't that cold, 
but um, this one might be. It's a little windy today, so hopefully we're gonna find us a ring. I just want one good thing. That's all I want. Maybe a good cross, a good ring, or something. So let's get in, let's start swimming. <laughs> Well, I got my first good find for season 2023. Uh, this is a dog tag. Must be a pretty popular dog tag because this I find one every year. I think this is like the third one that I found. But it's real nice. It's uh, a kind of a prayer to my son dog tag. And so uh, I'll take it. I didn't find the chain. I'm gonna make another sweep through there. Maybe I can find the chain. But hey, I've been finding lots of coins, lots of trash. And this is the first good find of the season. So. There's people out here, just I don't know if they've lost any good rings yet or not. So we're going to keep looking, see if we can find one. So let's keep swinging. Well, I was getting a 79 to an 81. Got my first ring for the season. And it's a little silver ring with some turquoise on it. I don't know if you can see it really good, but hey, I'll take that. That's pretty nice. I thought it was gonna, I was digging a penny because I've dug a lot of copper pennies uh, not too far from here. Yeah, a little silver ring. First ring for the season, silver number one. Silver turquoise, so let's keep swinging. Maybe there's gonna be some more out here. Well, that's gonna be it for this lake. Just got those couple things, so I'll meet you at the next one. I got my first ring for the day. Got a couple little items out of here as you saw. But I'm at a new location today. Got this 45. And uh, it's going to be a stainless steel spinner ring. So, hey, at least I've been digging a lot of trash, been digging a lot of targets, a lot of coins, uh, a lot of earrings. So I know it hasn't been hunted. So maybe some more stuff out here. I'm just now getting over to the deep end. I'm in waist deep water right now. So I'm going to go on out to about chin deep, see what else we can find. So maybe we'll get a gold, maybe we'll get a silver. Let's keep on going. Well, I was getting another ring just about two foot away from that other ring that I just dug, that stainless steel. I'm getting a 65 here, kind of jumpy. And uh, so I don't know. It could be... I don't think it's going to be precious, but hey, that's ring number two, and uh, real close here to one another. So I still got a lot of pool to cover. I've been digging a lot of targets, a lot of coins, some earrings, some different necklaces. So I know it hasn't been hunted, so there's got to be some more out here. So let's keep swinging. Oh man, this is incredible. This is three rings in a row. I'm about three feet away from that other ring. Uh, this is ringing up a 5052. I don't know if that's going to be white gold in gold. It's got some writing on the bottom, but I can't read it. I have to tell you at the wrap up, or you'll see it right here on the video, what it is. But hey, that's three rings in a row, and I haven't moved six feet. All right, let's keep swinging. Maybe some more out here.
I made a, a trip down to the length of the pool and came back in the swim area. And right where I found those other three rings, I found this. It's ringing up a 78. Um, could be gold plated. Could be a gold plated um, junker. It's got some writing in it. Again, I can't see it. But anyway, it's got a star on it. Hey, I'll take it. That's ring number four. And that's what's really weird is that all four of them within a six foot circle. All right, let's keep uh, let's keep going up and down and see if we can find anything else. It'll be a silver. I think a silver earring. This is jumping up to 87 to a 90. This could be a silver ring, a big men's silver ring right here. Let's see what we can get. That's kind of got a lot of muscles and hard stuff on the bottom here. Let's see if we can get it up. Nope, missed it. I like it when they, I like it when they ring up, up in the 90s. Could be a coin spill. I wish this was a soft bottom, we could scoop it easy. Nope, didn't get it that time. Let's try it again. These East Texas lakes are. Well, now I've got to fool you every time. That's those jewels. They ring up really good. I moved on to another lake, didn't find anything at the other two swim areas, but uh, just got my first target out here. It's ringing up like a 33, um, it's a stainless steel bracelet, so not a gold ring, but I'll take it. So I just got here, uh, dug some coins and some other stuff, but uh, this first piece of jewelry. So let's keep on swinging, let's see if we can't find us another ring or two. I got one more swimming hole to hit after this one, so maybe we'll get a few more rings today. Getting a 67 to a 73, jumping all around. Could be a bottle cap, could be a tungsten ring. Let's see. Been digging lots of bottle caps. All right, it's in the scoop. All right. All right, we're gonna look like it's uh, gonna be a tungsten carbide ring. 67 to a 73. They usually jump, they're real jumpy. They sound like a bottle cap in some ways, but they don't have that iron grunt. Oh, that's ring number, what, five today? That's been a good day so far. I've got one more lake to go. I'm gonna hit this a little bit longer right in here, and then I'm gonna move on to the next one. So let's keep on going. Deep water. Let's see if we can find it. Be a, a key. Well, it's getting a seventy three, seventy four again, just not too far away from that key. Uh, gonna be a, a Catholic uh, necklace, a miracle necklace i don't know it's one of those catholic pieces of jewelry all right let's keep swinging here about another 15 minutes and we're gonna move on to the next lake i don't find anything i'll just move on if i find something i may stick around a little bit more well i made it in from the lakes a long day took off early this morning and stayed out and i think i hit one two three four different lakes and uh, six different swim areas 
and really only one area really paid off and then I hit a couple of lakes the week before and so put all that together and I had a pretty good first week of water season I didn't find any huge rings but uh, yet it's still very early in the season but I did find some good stuff I've got it all laid out on my tailgate let me spin you around let me show you what I got this week all right like I always do I like to show you my trash that I dig out of the lakes because it cleans up our environment as well uh, these things are in the shallow water when I come by I'll pick them up throw them in my trash bag uh, here's all my aluminum foil all my metals and steels different things of that na nature all my aluminum caps all my bottle caps I dig all these things out I don't have to because I know the signal but I do it just to clean up and I don't want to come back and have to uh, have those signals in the hole next time I hunt the lake so I clean all that out it makes it easier and quiet for the next time around uh, a lot of beaver tails not too many but took quite a few this time and uh, not too many uh, square pull tabs that's unusual usually you have less of these and more of them but uh, I was in one lake that was older and that's why we got so many of those got some of those things the kids are smoking these vape pens cigarette lighter and some fish stuff so that's all the trash quite a bit just for about uh, three days of detecting got me a little toy soldier a little GI Joe and then we got one two three four five six seven dollars and seventy five cents in quarters I did get one bicentennial quarter and boy I tell you what those 1965s look just like silver don't they 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 come up so good look at it looks pristine like it's a mint but it is copper but I think it's I, I could swear these things have silver in them because they just ring up so good and they look so good I got uh, five ten twelve dimes three nickels and I got five ten fifteen twenty pennies that's my coins we'll move on to other items I got me a patriotic key then I've got uh, some earrings I got a heart earring then a I don't know what the kind of earring that is a half moon couple of a uh, piece of ladybug some type of butterfly or something uh, another ring and this one out here is marked 925 right in there you can see it on the left side 925 silver ring a couple of bracelets a little heart with the world inside of it a little stainless steel bracelet and then I got this dog tag to my son dog tag which is a pledge to the son to love them I got a unicorn necklace and then a Catholic necklace. I'm not sure if that's just, if that's gold, white gold or not. I haven't checked it out to see, but it was ringing up like gold. Sometimes they are gold. Uh, my rings this time around, I got one stainless steel spinner. I got one that I thought was going to be white gold, but it's not. It's just going to be kind of a junker and it says to my love on the inside. And then this is like a gold plated stainless steel uh, or something gold plated copper could be gold plated silver i don't know there's no markings on the inside but it's ringing up like a 78 so i know it's not stainless steel and then i got a nice tungsten carbide ring then i got this one which i thought was a junker but it's actually marked 925 it's just lake stain with that uh, east texas tea looking lake stain and then I got a James Avery 925. So two silver rings. The silver earring is the best finds of this trip. I do want to remind everybody, if you like my videos, you'd like to continue to see these videos being put out, please hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. That way, when I upload a new video, it comes to you directly. You won't even have to search for it on a search. And I would appreciate that very much. It'll help get my subscriber count up, help get my views up, help get that algorithm going in and get this video pushed out on YouTube where it can get out to more people. I would appreciate that very much. So there it is, folks. There's all the trash. And here's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure isn't what you can go out to the lake and lay it on your tailgate and do a wrap-up. The greatest treasure, my friends, is what's found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.